your husband. Jesus, come on. Come on. Come on. Out. Out, you demon. Good morning, viewers at home and everybody watching this uh, ministry. My name is Nompumele Lonzama. I'm from KwaZulu Natal, Deben. The reason I came to Terrace Ministry is the challenges that I was experiencing in my life. There was nothing that was moving on. My life was uh, stagnant and I was rejected everywhere. I was also rejected in all the areas of my life. And I've been having this spiritual husband for more than 30 years. It, it's really difficult to explain in words. But, you know, when your life is not moving on, it's stagnant. It really affects you. It stresses you out, you know. Um, I, was, I was not happy at all, you know. But um, I just thank the Holy Spirit that I never had depression or suffered from any stress-related illnesses. You know, but it really affected me. Imagine when you, you live on handouts, you know, people buy you a time, they give you pocket money, and sometimes that does not happen. You know, right now I'm staying with my daughter, you know. I once had a house, but because I lost almost everything, that's, you know, imagine yourself, you were working at one stage, and now you are not working. So even your self-esteem, you know, gets lowered. And... Uh, I landed myself on this channel. I really do not know how it happened. You know, God work, works mysteriously. And then when I landed on this channel, I watched the deliverance that was taking place. And then I shared the, 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 the information with Sister Tabisile, the lady that was just here. So I shared with her. I said, hey, Sissy, listen, I've just watched this information because I was just getting worried, you know, like they say you must wait until God locates you. And then I said to her, let me just share this with you, what I have in my heart. What, what if you are waiting for God to locate you and then the enemy is blocking God to locate you? What, what must you do? And then I spoke to her and then within two days, she said to me, we need to go there. And I said, no, 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 I can't go there because I'm not working. At least you are working. You can go there. And I said to her, you know what I will do? I will, ju I will just give you a photo, all right? And I'll just write, write a letter to, to the prophet, and I will give, him, give you the offering to give to the prophet. If he can just pray for my photo, I know that things will work out for me, and then I will get money, and then I will be able to come here myself. And then she said, no, 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 no. It's not going to happen. We, we need, we, both of us need to go there. I said, why? She said, because your problems are big. You know what she did? She then borrowed money from the stock fell so that I come here. So that's the reason why she, she how I came here. She even um I mean even for the bus fare from Deben to here, it's her. Okay. The While I was sitting outside with the with the pastor, together with the visitors, so he pinpointed us. Where and then are you They stay with the, my, he's my ex-husband. Some stay with him. Okay, so what happened to that father? He's still alive. Because I see you people separating. Yes, we are. Uh -huh. Yes, Pastor, we are. You people separating. And this has brought so much turmoil to your life. Yes. You've been, you've been facing a lot of challenges since your divorce. It is true. But even before I was divorced. Yeah. So now, this is a case to you. I see a spirit that no man must sit with you. And, exactly. And tolerate. Yes, Pastor. Even jobs. But you have done. Don't talk. You have yes. that I tell you.
kids also there. These kids, they are also crying for me. And then when he came to me, he asked me about my kids. He said, where are they? And then I told him that um, they, some of them are with my ex-husband, okay? And then he also asked me about the house. And then I said, hey, I'm not sure what is happening with my, ha my house. She said, why? I said, because I've been unemployed, so I don't know what has happened to the bank. And then she said, why didn't you ask the bank? What if the bank wanted to give you the house for free? Okay, and then the next thing she also asked me, um, she also said, he, sorry, he also said that um, there's something that has been sleeping with me at night, like the spiritual husband. And he also told me that whatever I do does not succeed. And he also said that I've got a good heart, I've been helping people, and then in return those people have turned their backs on me. Okay, I got an opportunity to sit with the prophet on one-on-one. -on -one. Okay, this is what he said. Okay, he said there is a job coming, coming through. Okay, for me, all right. Oh, first of all, he want he asked me if I want the job or the business, or both. And I said I want both. And then he said, okay, he sees a job coming through for me. Okay, and then he said God is going to restore me. God is going to restore me. And then he said, I shouldn't worry because whatever that I lost, God is going to bring, bring back. Yes, I confirm it, 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 it is true because as I said earlier on, I've been having this spiritual husband for more than, as he was, as he was uh, saying that whilst we were with the other visitors, you know, I was affirming him. I was raising hands saying, yes, prophet, this is very true because he said, I've been having this spiritual husband and as a result, nothing worked for me because he was chasing away everything because he said the, the, the enemy wanted me to be, to be down in life. They want, the enemy did not want me to succeed. The enemy did not want me to have something. But he said, all that is history now. I'm, uh, God is restoring me and it's, God is making me a better person now. To tell you the truth, I am, I am, I am very, very, very happy. And to share with you, um, for seven days I was on a on a on a on a on a fast where I was asking God to locate me, right? And then after that I was on a on a Thanksgiving fast where I was thanking God because we have to thank God even if the things that you have asked for have not taken place. You know, in faith, believing that because He is a covenant keeping God, He's going to keep His promises to you. And then after that, you know, Holy Spirit said. Because you have been uh, saying, you have been praying the Thanksgiving fast. Now just do the Thanksgiving prayer. So um, I, I'm on a Thanksgiving prayer now, okay? Praying, I used to pray at 6 o'clock in the morning, um, 6 o'clock in, 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 uh, in the evening, okay? So I'm, I'm still praying. I'm still on the Thanksgiving prayer. So I'm very, very happy because the Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit told me that I need to continue. So I now I can see where he was leading me to. So I am very, very happy that God has located me. I've, I've spoken to the man of God and he has uh, said these powerful words, these positive words, you know, sent by the Holy Spirit. So I'm happy that the Holy, I mean, God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit has located me. So I feel very, very excited. I'm looking forward to come back to share my testimony. To the viewers that are uh, facing the same situation, less or, or bigger, I just want to say to you, please don't give up on God because he will never ever give up on you. No matter how hard it is, okay, to live with the challenges around you, but please, please don't turn your back on God. Press on. God has got an answer. You know, make, your, make sure that you, you revive yourself. You read the Bible. You pray. If maybe it, you, 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 it's difficult for you to pray, tell the Holy Spirit to, 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 
to, to, to help you to pray, and you will pray. And I'm also saying, please come to Jerry's ministry, okay, where God dwells, where God lives, and receive your deliverance or your healing.